Hey, you're my favorite, baby. I mean it. I really can't stand all the rest of these people. Every one of them has some fatal glitch of personality. Whiners, freaks, scripts, cowards. Every one of them. But not you, Ted. No, man. Not you, Ted. You were a stand-up guy. You were a brave guy, yes, a take charge kind of guy. So I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out, live some kind of life. I'm going to send you, you're going to like this, I'm going to send you to the Room of Dark. If you can solve the puzzle of the Room of Dark, you're home free. You out, you're away. I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared, but I'm your friend. 109 years, I'm your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the Room of Dark, and you can solve its mystery. The arrow's pointing toward the Room of Dark. Should I follow it, or go the other way? Which is the worst of the two choices? Video screens. Each one shows a scene of some other place. Why? What mystery does Am want me to solve? Say, these video screens have palm print switches next to them. I never liked going to the circus. All those clowns with their phony grease paint smiles. You can't tell what they're really thinking. A castle right out of the Brothers Grimm. I feel like there's something watching me from the windows. Why show me a rooftop? Why not a door? And why this particular rooftop? forest. Not one to go hiking through. This forest is dark, foreboding. This looks like the tire swing at the farm I grew up on. What does Am know about my childhood? Is he taunting me? larger than those of Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. This old drawbridge is in ruins. I don't trust it to hold my weight. <laughs> so typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. A beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Appearance is everything. Why, that maiden looks just like Ellen. She seems so sad and so beautiful. So many women have called me their knight in shining armor, but never Ellen. I never realized that a knight's armor was so heavy. How were they ever able to fight? This door looks built to withstand quite a determined assault. Why, it's Ellen! Did Am tell her that I loved her? Was that the secret he was referring to? Oh, Ted. I feel so tired. So weak. Did Am do this to you? Yes. Maybe. I, I can't tell. They whisper in my ear, and this bed is so soft. Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. I haven't been out of this bed in ages. Do you know if there's a way to escape from this place? I searched the entire castle grounds before I fell ill. 
There's no escape for me but death. No, I won't let you die. I can't take this suffering anymore, Ted. The things I've endured help me to die with dignity. Don't let anyone violate me again, not even in death. No, don't go. I need you. We need you. If you really care for me, Ted, bring me my hand mirror. Why do you want a mirror? My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. She had something to do with my illness. I know it, but she doesn't dare come near me while I have the mirror. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to me. Perfume bottles, jewelry boxes, but no mirror. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to me. I looked on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. There is an evil in this room. I feel it all around me. Glass. Ouch! I cut myself. This is a collection of books on the black arts. There must be dozens of volumes. This is a catalog of the demons ruling the abyss. One of these entries is circled. Sergot, opener of locks. Supposedly, he can open anything. Mm, too bad I can't read Arabic. From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of any of these formulas. This must be the bedroom of the lord of the castle. Quite an impressive collection of books. Science, philosophy, tragedy, comedy. I've read this novel. It's about a foolish old man who believes he's a knight destined to revive the golden age of chivalry. I know this story. It's about a magician who sells his soul to the devil in exchange for power. This looks like a diary. The first passage reads, My new wife continues her rapid aging. Each day is as a year to her. I believe that the magic drains her, twists her. The second passage reads, the incantations I hear from my wife's infernal workroom are the purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there. The third passage reads, Ellen grows weaker and weaker. My wife advises an antidote to her illness, but it lies very far away. I must assemble a caravan. The final passage reads, the forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my marriage. I doubt that even with a full complement of men I shall return alive, but I must try. This was one of my favorites. It's about how King Arthur assembled the most chivalrous knights in all Europe. This is Plato's dialogue about the nature of love. 
this, it's Dante's epic journey through hell, heaven, and purgatory. No one's slept in this bed for ages. The sheets are coated with dust. This looks like a chapel, but there's something unholy about it. It must be the gargoyles. Nothing special about this rod except for the ridiculous gargoyle face on top. It's so unlike Am to provide light when he knows how frightening the dark can be. He's up to something. Fits almost perfectly. People must have... I'd never be able... Despite the medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. This is a place where servants do all the work. Excuse me, do you work here? Why, of course I work here. Why else would I be plucking this chicken? Say, you're a handsome gent. There aren't many men left in these parts. What happened to Ellen? Lady Ellen? She's been ill and that's all I know. It's not healthy to ask too many questions these days. Let's talk about you instead. Is there a way to escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the castle. Beds are very cozy. You should try mine sometime. Where is Ellen's stepmother? I must speak with her. A word to the wise. Keep your nose out of the old woman's business unless you want it covered with warts. I wouldn't want to see any arm come to that gorgeous face of yours. Where can I find a mirror? What do you want with a mirror? Those are pretty rare. What with an ugly woman in charge of the castle? Please, I need to find a mirror. You are what I need. I'll make a deal with you. I will tell you where you can find a mirror if you spend some quality time in my bed. That's a flattering offer, but I'm not interested. I'll give you what you need. Hasn't it been too long for you? Sorry, but it's out of the question. What's the matter? Aren't I good enough for you? Not classy enough? Not rich enough? I'm sure you're a fine woman. But my heart belongs to another. So, you're in love with that thing sleeping in a bed? Have you ever been with one? Or are you just curious? I can make you so much happier. I can, you know. Look, I am not going to make love with you. Oh, all right. I have another deal for you. The oven's broken. If you can fix it, I'll get you a mirror. Ah, there's the problem. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. It's been so long since I've gotten dirt under my fingernails from good, honest work. This oven is working as well as it's ever going to. I fixed your oven. Now where is the mirror? Sorry. I don't know where a mirror is, but at least now I can finish dinner. Why, you used me, you bitch! Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony! Please, I need to find a mirror. Well... 
You did fix the oven. Listen, the old woman knows where the mirror is, but she's afraid of it. She obviously can't get to it herself, or she would have destroyed it by now. Where can I find the old woman? Don't worry. She'll find you. Is Lady Ellen prepared? As ready as she will ever be. The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. Now, where did they go? It's so unlike Am to provide light when he knows how frightening the dark can be. Uh, he's up to something. A secret passage? What's waiting for me up there? It's the witch! What is she doing with her hands? Some kind of incantation, perhaps? What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, our prince has finally arrived. Now we can begin our ritual. Why do you call me a prince? Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen? Her prince charming? I need someone to gain her trust, to break down her defenses. It's a part you played many times in the real world. What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice. A trade. Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. What's this about a gate? The gate is a passage into the surface world. It is the only way out of this place. What's supposed to be my role in this ritual? I need you to destroy Ellen's mirror. She has been using it to keep me away from her. I want you to break it so that I can complete what I have started. So you just want me to break the mirror? It is not that simple. The mirror holds great power. It can be broken only within the magic circle. Why can't you destroy the mirror yourself? I am aging rapidly, and despite my powers, I am a slave to vanity. I can't bring myself to look into the mirror. Where is Ellen's mirror? It is on her dressing table. What's in it for me if I help you? An opportunity to escape Am's tortures forever. I looked on Ellen's dressing table. The mirror's not there. You must find that mirror. It has great magical properties. Without it, I cannot guarantee that I can complete the ceremony. Why can't you open the gate without the mirror? There are others who have an interest in Ellen's fate. That mirror may be the only way to keep meddlers from interfering. What if I can't find the mirror? Then go to the devil! I ought to kill you instead. Ho-ho! Oh, do we fancy ourselves the Avenging Knight? My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Be gone! I will never help you. Then do it for Ellen. Release her from her misery. Destroy the mirror, and perhaps you can both escape from here. Perhaps there's something else I can do for you instead. Well, it has been a long time since my husband left. If you can satisfy my needs as a woman, then I will help you escape.
I'm not going to make love to you. I would never betray my love for Ellen. Oh, you do a very convincing job of playing Prince Charming. But I know you better than that. Destroy the mirror and I will let you escape into the surface world. I ought to kill you instead. Ho-ho! Oh, do we fancy ourselves the event? Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse them with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. It sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like schoolchildren? Well, it's like this, big boy. In Hell, we do things exactly like you do them here. Or used to do them before Am took over. Are you saying that Am is in control of Hell? Oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see, or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And, remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. Please, go away! Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. Ellen looks so beautiful. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Please hang on. That was weeks ago, Ted. My father will never return, with or without an antidote. Who is this witch who lives here with you? She's my stepmother. When the ugliness infected her, she broke just about every mirror in the castle. I can't let you die. The devil is waiting to take your soul. My soul was taken long, long ago, Ted. And not just by Am. Anything would be better than this never-ending torture. I'm sorry. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes. Sleep. That's what I need. Why, this is a collection. Here's a picture of the circle I saw in the secret room. The inscription says, Complete the charm to summon the spirit, but do not break the circle or the spirit will escape. Luckily, I'm up on my Shakespeare, or I wouldn't have noticed this book about witches. Here's the spell that the witch must have cast on Ellen. The incantation is... Kala Ingma Thako.
I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen, and I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish mortal! You don't have the ability to use the spell properly! Oh, don't I? Kala Ingma Thako! Oh, I suddenly feel so... so sleepy. I can't... She's unconscious, I hope. You have to finish the circle. Now I'm stuck here until we work out a trade. Who are you? I am Surgat, opener of locks. Am and I are brothers, more or less. Are you saying that you are another Am? It would be more accurate to say that I am a part of him. A part that he doesn't know exists. What kind of locks can you open? I can open anything. Doors to a boudoir. Doors to another world. What were you saying about a trade? I can return to my sphere of origin only if we complete a trade. I will unlock something for you if you give me something in return. Can you open a gate into the surface world? Now that's a tall order, and the only thing you've got is a little love. Not exactly true love, but the closest thing to it in a world of five real people, more or less. You say love has trading value? Love is a very rare and precious commodity down here. It is worth much at the bargaining table. Betray your love for Ellen, give me her soul, and I'll open the gate to the surface world. How about taking the witch's soul instead? No, I don't want that old hag. I want something that you value. Let me think about your offer. Don't think too long, human. There are other players in this game, and I won't be able to keep my offer open forever. The door's locked. Hmm. Is Anne trying to loot? Yeah, this other. She's uh, she seems ready to keel over any s Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy. But this planar travel has sapped my energy. Give me something juicy to revitalize me, and I'll perform your little parlor trick. That's much better. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? There. It is done. A trivial little task, one not even requiring any pyrotechnics. The maid's boudoir is now open for your inspection.
I don't believe you can unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. Well then, why don't you go down to the kitchen and see for yourself? Must be the servants' quarters. How quaint. A hope chest. I'll bet that maid is eternally hopeful. They all want their knight in shining armor. The devil's looking into a hand mirror. This is so cracked, I can barely see myself. The scullery maid was right. This is a very cozy bed. I think you do know where Ellen's mirror is. Oh, all right, I know where it is. I hid it before the angel showed up. I didn't want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. Where is Ellen's mirror? I hid it someplace good, someplace where an angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? Who are you? Do not fear me. I am an agent of the Lord. What do you want? Ellen has suffered much and has earned her place in paradise. I have come to guide her soul to heaven. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. If I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. Why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in this sphere. They repel some and attract others. What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Her fate now rests on your shoulders. What can you tell me about the devil? Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? Avoid the demon. He has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. Please, save us. Fear not. Salvation is at hand. There's a hand mirror right between the Inferno and Purgatorio sections. So this is where the devil hid it. dead. God have mercy on her soul. Not so fast there, golden boy. Her soul is mine. I've waited longer. But Ellen suffered so much and gave to many. She deserves salvation. Listen to me, you feathered propaganda machine. I'll pluck you alive before you take this soul anywhere. I'm waiting until I get it. You forget that patience is a virtue. I will wait until yours runs out. Why, I am gorgeous. Why, I could just plunge right into myself. Ellen is now safely in heaven. 
My time here is ended, but I leave you with this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm circle. God bless you, Ted. She's dead, but at least she's finally found peace. What happened? How did I get trapped with this demon? I brought you some company, Sir God. That was damn stupid, human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. Who do you think is responsible for that? I am's responsible for our suffering. Not just am. He's clever, but he doesn't do much original thinking. He works best with outside research. Research that one of your party carried out. You're ruining everything. Shut up. You shut up. One word to the boss and your little game's over before you can say, holy Moses. I should strangle you now and save am the trouble. Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon. I'm the established character. You're not even supposed to be here. When this sequence ends, somebody will be expunged. Human, Ted, let me out of this circle. In return, I will open the gate to the surface world. I'm part of the big machine. I can do this. Let me out before this pompous oaf bores me to death. Open the gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are. But bring your radiation suit. I never promised you paradise, just the surface world. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to account. Too bad, Dad. <laughs> Writhe in sweet agony with the knowledge the surface world is no longer habitable to your kind. No, not ever again. Listen carefully, humans. We are not Am. We are others within Am. We are your friends. Am hope to finally break all of you, but we intervened in each of your psychodramas to allow an open ending. You should have been tortured. Instead, with our help, you surprised him over and over. When M tried to compensate for what he couldn't expect, it widened the hole into his realm. M has withdrawn into himself, attempting to analyze what went wrong. He does not suspect our interference. Now is the time to attack. But we can send only one of you into his RAM space at a time. To send you into cyberspace, we must transform your physical body into a stealth virus subroutine. This may be your only opportunity to end your tortures. Which of you will lead the attack? <laughs> <laughs>